G'day and welcome to Epic E-Bikes. Today we're here with a Focus Jam Squared with the rim magnet and we're happy to announce we've finally got a chip that's reliable with the rim magnet and we're going to show you how to install that today. If you want to pick up a chip, look in the video description, I'll put a link there to where you can buy the chip from. So we'll show you how to install it now. All right, I recommend you flip the bike upside down to get started. We are going to have to remove the motor to install this chip. So we're going to start by removing the chain. And then we're going to remove this pull tab here on the top of the motor. And pull out the battery. All right, next we're gonna take off these plastic covers here. So on this side, just got one small screw here. All right, so now on the other side, we've got a screw in here. This is a Torx screw. Then we've got two Torx screws at the back here. All right, with all these screws loose, we should now be able to work this cover off. We might just take it apart in two pieces rather than taking the crank arm off by just undoing this screw in the middle. Take off one side and then the other. All right, now the bash guard's removed, battery's out. It's time to remove the motor. So there's one, two, three bolts on either side in the same spots. All right, on this side, the same, one, two, three. In most cases, we've found you don't need to take off the chain ring. You can just go in through it. All right, so we'll look at what comes with the kit to install this rim magnet before we get on to the next step. So we've got a couple cable ties. These are used for securing this to your chainstay, and this is where the new speed sensor goes. So it goes inside there, and it makes contact with a magnet on the spokes to send that wheel signal to the chip. Then this here, this plate goes onto the motor. And what this does, it's an electromagnet that sends a pulse to the motor as many times as the chip demands to trick the motor into thinking it's going slower than it really is, allowing you to achieve greater speeds. 
All right, so step one, we're gonna install the plate with the electromagnet. You can see it's got a white mark here. So if your bike has room here, you can push it down until the white mark lines up with this line on the motor and there'll be a slot on the motor that this little hook clips into. In this case, there's very tight clearance, so we do have to tilt the motor up like this. Now you can see this plane here is the part of the motor we want to sit the electromagnet on. You can see that little um, casting is where this clips on. So it clips on like that. You see the white line lines up with this one. Now what we're going to do, as this is an off-road bike, it's going to be going over all sorts of bumps. We're going to clip it in place and we're going to put a little bit of hot glue on each end just to hold it in place. So we'll just hold it down so it's as slim as possible. Just put a tiny bit of hot glue on the top. And a little bit on the bottom as well. Now you don't need to go overboard because this is going to be wedged up against the back of the motor casing here, so it's just to keep it in place while we put the motor back in. So I've just loosely put in these two motor bolts. Now this electromagnet's in place. It can be handy if you've got a second person to push down on the motor a little bit at this stage to help you line up the bolt holes. But we just want to get the other bolts in a couple of turns. There we go. So now we've got them in a few turns. What we're basically doing is verifying that with the electromagnet installed, the motor will still fit back in. So we're not going to show you every bolt, but these ones are going in just fine now that that other side is lined up. So on some bikes you may find lots of space here and on some it might be quite tight like this one. But now that we've got this done, we'll show you the next steps. So this is the piece you get with the kit. You're going to split it open, you're going to get the speed sensor and just put it inside there like that and then you're going to put the other piece on like that now the idea with this is this magnet needs to be as far away from the electromagnet as possible without contacting the disc brake so in this case we're going to put it around here get some cable ties through it might be easier to get your cable tie through before you put it on. Again, on other different bikes, you may need to adjust where this is based on how close it is to your spokes. In this case, I'm going to put it about here. Then I'm going to get the spoke magnet. Now this needs to be positioned right about there on the sensor. And it needs to be within five to 15 millimeters from that black casing. So we're looking about 10 mil there, which should be satisfactory. All right, so I've run a few cable ties along the chain stay just to hold this wire in place. You don't want this cable to get caught up in your treads on your wheel. It's going to rip out the speed sensor and then you'll be going nowhere. So now we've got to remove the old rim magnet. So you just got to take your valve cap off and then loosen off 
the retainer here. Alright, so now we've got the rim magnet off, we can move on to connecting the rest of the chip. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the gold plug and the speed sensor plug and connect them together. This is a, a universal sort of plug, you can plug it in anyway. Next we're going to get the electromagnet wire and we're going to get this small plug here. We're going to line it up. There's arrows on it. We're going to plug that together like that. And then we're going to remove this cable here next to the battery. Plug. When you pull this one out, it's going to be black. And that one plugs into this large round one on the chip. If you line up the white line to the symbol, it'd be hard to see in the video, there's a little symbol on the plug. And then the wire, the last one off the chip, replaces that black wire we just took out and the square embossed section faces towards your seat post. So now we've got it plugged in. So basically the chip has one plug where the black cable was and the black cable is plugged into the chip here. We've got one going to the electromagnet and one to the speed sensor. And now the chip is technically installed and operating but obviously we have to put the bike back together for a final test but we'll show you some troubleshooting steps you can do at this point to make sure that it's installed correctly before you proceed further. So we're going to put the battery back in. Now we're going to turn on the bike. When we turn on the bike, we should get a solid red light on the chip. All right, now with the red light on, if we rotate the wheel and once the magnet goes past the sensor, the red light should go off. And then it will blip once as it goes past or turn back on. So you should go on off, on off. And that tells us that the speed sensor we've placed is working and the chip's functioning as well. All right, the other test you can do is to spin the back wheel and watch the speedo, you should get a speed reading. So we'll do that now. There we go, we can see we're reading speed as expected. All right, we'll take it for a quick spin. All right, definitely passing 25 there. And on the speedo, your display is not gonna be correct. You're gonna to get to 20 k's an hour, it's gonna stop at 20. All right, here's the GPS speedo. So we'll go now, you'll see we'll get above 25 easily. Now I'm riding one-handed in the dark, so I can't change gears, but I got easily up to 36, 38 then. We'll go back the other way. As you can see, the speedo remains on 19.9 or 20 once you exceed 25. 
All right, so that's how you unlock a Bosch bike with a rim magnet. If you need the chip for your bike, the link's in the video description. And of course, you can contact us at our contact page on the website if you have any questions, concerns, or help with the chip or fitting it to your bike. If this video has been helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to help grow this channel and get this content out to more people. We appreciate you watching if you stayed to the end. Thanks again.